Hey guys, Dean here back again for another Shopify video. So one huge problem I had when setting up my Shopify store and getting any types of orders was the currency. Okay, so I ran into this problem. You might run into the exact same problem. So let's explain it. So basically my ads were running on TikTok, right? The ads were running in the United Kingdom, but my store was in dollars and selling to the United States. You can see there's going to be a little bit of friction and problem there, right? So when I first launched my store in the first like one, two or three days, when you have the kind of testing phase where the ads are learning and trying to target your best customer. I was getting no sales, which seemed typically normal at the time, but then I realized, what am I doing wrong? Okay. And basically I had no currency converters. So people came to my store who were from the marketing in the UK, saw my store was an American store. It probably looks scammy because they can't pay in their own currency and they also kind of don't want to. And there's not really as many options to do so. So they came to my store, they couldn't actually buy anything or there was kind of like that region block. So they went away and I made no sales. Okay. So I'm here to show you how to fix that using one simple app, which is the currency converter. Okay. Don't run into the same issues that I ran into because you'll be wasting even more money on ads. So what I mean by a currency converter, okay, is when I just go into my store, this is a test store, right? There's no actual real products in here, even though it looks like there is on the homepage. If I went into a store, right? Luckily for me, this store, which is just a trial I've set up today to show you this, it's using default pounds, right? So if I was to advertise on a UK advertising platform or target the customers in the UK on TikTok again, they wouldn't have a problem because the store's currency is in pounds. But the previous store, my real store, I set up in dollars. So that was where the problem was. So you want to go to add apps. What you want to do is you want to click on find more apps in the Shopify app store. And what you want to do is you want to search on here and you want to type in currency and click on currency converter. Now, the best currency converter is literally called the best currency converter. That's the one I use. That's the one most people use. You can easily add currencies with a push of a button. The prices convert automatically based on the customer's location, which was why this fixed my problem. And I actually started getting sales because it's basically automatic. OK, it helps customers shop in their local currency. It decreases cost abandonment which i found to be true and it's placed automatically in the header of any shopify theme once you set it up correctly right let's press add app because we're going to do this quickly we want to add app and then we can add this to our website you want to click on install app just ignore all this random stuff okay then you want to click on free choose this plan you want to accept the privacy policy terms and conditions make sure you press free you don't need to do elite because free lets you use up to five currencies you can use the most powerful currencies in the world so i'm talking about usd gbp australian dollar those kind of currencies the most traded ones right that's what we're going for the five most popular so that's what we're going to do so press free okay now that it's loaded what you want to do is it says you need to edit your money format so you can press click to see how it'll tell us what you want to do is you want to go to your shopify admin page again press on settings and then from here you want to go to store details and then under store details there's a store currency section mine is set in british pounds gbp and there's a change formatting button press change formatting below it it'll bring a box down of more options so this is currency formatting okay so you want to find the area that says html with currency and the html without currency so these two boxes at the top okay we're going to be changing the code around a little bit to make this plugin work in both of these areas what you want to do is where it says pound at the very start of pound or this obviously would be the dollar sign and then usd if you have it in united states dollars it'll be different based on your currency but you get the idea in front of the currency symbol at the start you want to paste this which it tells you on the guide so that guide that i just clicked on it has the code for you to copy and paste but if not this is it if you want to type it out manually and you want to paste this in front of this okay and you want to do this the same for the second box html without currency and then after there's a second part of code which it tells you to paste which you want to do after so i'm going to paste that after the actual currency letters and then after this amount being in the second box so this is what your two boxes should now look like you can pause the video if you want to make sure yours looks the same also refer to that guides that it tells you about when you install the plugin okay so after you do that all you need to do is press save and update it and now your site should recognize the currency converter right and then after you've done that correctly it should now update it when you refresh the page and now this is crossed out so we've edited our money formats it's recognized that we've done that on the website so now we can move 
on to the next stage of the process. So now you want to select your currencies, okay? So we select currencies that appear in your currency switcher on your website. So when people buy something from our store, they can select a range of different currencies. Now, the great thing about Best Currency Converter is by default, it selects basically the most traded currencies or the most strongest currencies of the world, which you don't want to change, okay? It doesn't matter which currency that they're paying in, you should still be receiving the currency that you want. So if someone's paying in United States dollars, I will receive in GBP from Shopify payments. But if you're using something like PayPal, then it's different and they pay through PayPal, okay? So don't worry about that stuff. But if you have any more questions, let me know down below, right? British pound sterling, which is Great British pound, GBP, US dollar, United States dollar, the euro, the Canadian dollar, and the Australian dollar. So this checks out. So leave these. You don't need to mess around. If you do have a different plan to the free one, you can add currencies or add all currencies if you want to be creative. But obviously, you can't do that on the free plan. You can only have five. I'm not going to really get into the details of the whole customization. This is dependent on your website's theme and the design and the whole house style and colors you're using. But you can choose the theme and the colors of the currency switcher itself. So it obviously fits in with your own theme. You'll have to do that later and mess around with it, tinker with the settings when you actually use it based on your own theme. I can't show you that because your website will look different to mine, right? Then all these other features are basically features that you can only get when you upgrade. So just press save and now that's done, right? So I'm just going to quickly use an app to add some products to my store so I can show you that the currency converter is working and how it works, okay? I'm going to skip forward to when I add the products, but I'm just going to import one with DSs quickly from AliExpress so I have products on this test store to show you the currency converter in action. Okay, so now I've imported a random product just to show you guys. I imported this random air humidifier diffuser. It looks pretty cool. I probably wouldn't usually consider actually selling this, but it's a cool product, right? So now we have a product on our store. So if we just press this little I where it says view your online store, let's just give a store preview. So now we have this aroma diffuser. So let's click on this. And luckily for us, the price is actually in pounds. So GBP. Okay. But now you'll see this little box at the top, which is actually the currency converter, which wasn't there before. So now if we click it, we can change the US dollars. So now it's $19. We can change it to euros, 18 euros change it to Canadian dollars and change it to Australian dollars. So I believe this is based on the value of the currency every single day. So I think it updates based on the actual exchanges. So this is a really useful method for your customers to basically pay in what currency they want. Okay. So if we're marketing to the United Kingdom, then they're going to be able to pay in GBP. If we're using TikTok ads and we're marketing to say France or any country in the EU, they're basically all going to use euros. And obviously America has US dollar. Canadian customers, if you're targeting America, America, you'll probably be targeting Canada as well. They can use Canadian dollars and Australia. So you get the idea. Everyone can basically buy from my store now, and that's going to increase my conversion rate pretty drastically in comparison to what it would be if I'd be using ads without having this installed. This is paramount, guys. Make sure you install this. Don't run into the same mistake that I did, okay? When I was running TikTok ads for the first time, I didn't know that it was region locked and I couldn't sell to US customers. So when I had a store in United States dollars, customers in the UK didn't want to buy any of my products, okay? So so install this so you don't run into any similar issues that I did and you'll see your sales go through the roof if your product and your website's good. So make sure to like the video, leave any comments below, any questions. If you had any difficulty setting this up, if you run into any problems and you need some help, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But what you can do for me is subscribe to the channel and I'll be bringing you some more tips for dropshipping and Shopify real soon. See you soon.